What makes Kokomi special to you? Now, this is something I asked in one of my community posts and there were quite a number of cool answers, but I'm not really going to talk about the personal stuff like how she looks because she's absolutely gorgeous and stuff like her personality and story and so on because we have covered these things extensively on the channel and so on. I mean, we're Kokomi clan. There's, there's like over 300 videos just dedicated to Kokomi. So it's very clear I like the character, but what I want to talk about is the combat aspects and what what you might have noticed very recently is that there is a potential for Hoyaverse to bring out new characters in the future, new Hydro female characters and so on. And a very natural question is, will they replace Kokomi? In other words, is what makes Kokomi so special replaceable in the future? Now, just looking very recently at Ayato and Yeland, well, uh, very clearly Hoyoverse developed the new characters in such a way such that they would have a very distinct identity from Kokomi. And in fact, I think with Yelon and Ayato, Kokomi's position has just been sort of much more solidified. In fact, Kokomi and Yelon are such a strong, strong duo. Um, very few people actually talk about it, but Yelon provides all the offensiveness and Kokomi provides all the defense and with consolations of course see one Yelon you don't need Qingshu to battery because the two can just battery each other Kokomi and Yelon and obviously with more constellations the duo of them just absolutely clown on him so um, Kokomi and Yelon are just they're just absolutely fantastic and they are such complementary units and what my sort of message here is I do think in future it's much more likely that if there is a new Hydro character they would most likely not be a healer and if they are a healer uh, they would probably not scale off of attack and this is the one thing that I talk ex talked about extensively in the Kokomi puzzle and that is the fact that Kokomi herself is just an absolute monster. She's an absolute juggernaut due to the fact that she scales with HP, with healing bonus. This means the character can literally not die. And that's what I want to show you now. So this is the Kokomi demo in the background. Uh, you will see exactly why this character is the queen of survival, the best healer in the game. So as you can see, this would ordinarily just knock out any character. If that character was Shangling, then even with a Xingxu sort of protection, she would be dead. But Kokomi, look, she is not going anywhere. She is just... She's just shrugging it all off. I mean, how absolutely insane is this? And I'm not being active with Kokomi. I'm literally just standing here and taking attacks. So I'm frozen, so I'm not going to hit as fast. But look at that. Look at how much we actually survived. So now I'm just going to go into my elemental burst. And even with the slowing ice effect, look at that. We are just... It's just nothing. We are just quickly getting back. And if we're really in trouble, we just put down a bucket karage and survive. It's as easy as that. So the beautiful thing about Kokomi and what I really like about her is the fact that she cannot crit because now she doesn't need to worry about crit rate or crit damage. She can in fact build herself up as a juggernaut, as someone that can tank, as someone that you can, if you're in a panic situation, just swap to and know that your character will most likely survive. Um, she's a character that does range damage, funnily enough, better than you and Mia, with the auto-targeting projectiles, off-field hydro. If you want, put thrilling tails or whatever, all that other nonsense, put it on her. Um, at the end of the day, she offers quite a lot just as a single character. And the big thing is the comfiness. This character makes the overworld, the spiral, the so, so comfy. And it is really, really ridiculous how she is just immortal. But with all of this utility comes the drawback of not being able to do a lot of damage. In other words, there is an inherent cap on the damage that she can do and this is just to sort of balance out the, the character, otherwise she would just power creep everyone if she could do everything she does now, plus double the damage. So the scalings and so on are perfectly fine. And if you want damage, well, there is Yelon, there is Ayaka, there is Raiden Shogun. You've got damage dealers, there's no need for Kokomi to compare with the damage dealing role. And yeah, I think the only way Kokomi would ever get power crept is if there are like let's say new features in the game that new characters can sort of only do or they can sort of handle better than Kokomi can but for the foreseeable future even if there is a character that does exactly everything Kokomi does but can also crit and do even more damage you know what I'll still play Kokomi because she is so so fun and there's also a diff bit of a different aspect or a dynamic to her and that is team management but we'll talk a bit about that in a future video and so on but for me 
the fact that she does everything she does, it just makes the character so, so good. So, so special. Cheers.